Well, back to Fog Wrestling and with another show to review it. AEW Rampage 17th of September 2021. And we kick off this show with the Lucha Brothers taking on the Butcher and the Blade. And all I wanted today was take a blade to my wrist. Yes, that's probably been overdone. And it's probably nowhere near as funny as it would have been about 18 years ago. But... I I mean, it's just a match. I mean, what, what is there to say here? The Lucha Brothers retain. Oh, it's a match, man. We don't do segments on AEW. They don't, they don't do fucking se- No, it is, right? All this show is, it, it's just matches, right? It, it's AEW in general. It's just matches and, like, face-to-faces in the ring. Now, there was one thing on this show. It wasn't really that, which I will get to, and I actually didn't mind, but, like, Where's, like, the backstage, uh, like, segments? Like, where's people, like, getting, like, fucking mowed down or, you know, attacked? Or, like, all, all this shit, or, like, arriving at the arena? There's just, there's just none of that. Nothing feels organic. Everything just feels fucking scripted. I, I, I mean, WWE does it a bit less, but it's still shite compared to what it used to be. Obviously, in AEW, I don't know, it just doesn't feel, it, feel like that. But, yeah, I mean, the Lucha Brothers retain here. Whoop, whoop, whoop they do uh, Then we have our next match with the Bunny taking on some jobber. I, I mean, it's a jobber women's tag match. The, the best part about this, though, I uh, don't give a fuck who won, by the way. Um, we we have Matt Hardy, right? And he basically c- gets in the ring after the match and basically points at this fat guy in the crowd who looks like Orange, is like an Orange Cassidy um, lookalike. Um, and then he basically drags him into the ring, hits him with a twist of fate, and then him and this guy who I've never fucking seen before in my life starts shaving his fucking head, and Orange Cassidy comes out for the save. So I actually enjoyed that segment. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, Matt Hardy shaving some fucking fat fucking nerd's uh, head. I know. I, 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 got, I got a wee, a wee cheap pop out of me. Then we get like a look into um, Daniel Bryan and uh, Kenny Omega's feud, which is what I mean. It's all, it's lasted like what, all a fucking a week, so... I guess we'll need a longer look into that. Then we also get like a recap of what happened on uh, Dynamite with the whole gimmick of Team Taz taking on CM Punk. And also we're getting a match next Friday. Or is it Saturday? I don't know. They're doing their what, Rampage Grand Slam or something. Um, CM Punk taking on what is, what's his name? Is it, I suppose say Rampage Jackson. I have no idea what the guy's fucking name is. He's taking on... Is it Ricky Starks? Or is that the white guy? I, I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea, guys. To me, I, I look at this show and all I see is jobbers. And that's the, um... And that's about the bottom line. But probably then we get to the worst part of this show, which is probably saying a lot, considering I don't like fucking 99.999% of it. But Tony Schiavone's in the ring. He called, he basically announces Britt Baker out to the ring. Uh, Britt Baker cuts a promo about Ruby Riot Or oh, Ruby Soho. Ho, ho, Soho. So shit. She comes out. Um, and then, like, just cookie-cutter piss here. Hey, I was never able to prove myself in the WWE. I was held back, but now the anchor's gone. I mean, like, literally, fuck me. How many people, right, have have, have cut this exact same promo, you know? Like, why, why do they have to mention the other company, right? And why, like, and when they do, why is it always got to be the same shit? Fucking literally everyone, man. Just be, go out and do the best job you can be without having to cut the same shit left, right, and centre. Oh my fucking god. Like, could you imagine, like, see back in the, like, in the attitude, like, see when Jericho debuted, like, and, and him and Rock had that back and forth. Did, did he mention WCW? You know? Did, did he mean, oh, I was held back in that other company. What? I mean, imagine he did. Albeit, it would have been a lot more over because it was fucking 1999. The Monday Night Wars were fucking, you know what I mean, great and life was great and it wasn't shite like it is today. But Jesus, this whole gimmick, man, of we gotta blame the WWE. You know, a lot of you are just pissed because you're fucking shit, right? You need to grasp that. And Tony Khan's just firing money he's at money at you because he's a fucking, because he's a gullible bastard and he loves wasting it. That's the truth. That's all it is with Tony Khan. Anyway, though, this was garbage. We don't really give two shits who's going to win this match, to be honest. Um, but I, I mean, also, I mean, I, I don't mind the commentary team here. You've got like Jericho and all, so that's no bad as well. 
Um, then basically we have our main event of the evening. We get like a promo package before Santiago Dalguel or whatever the fuck his name is taking on Miro for the TNT uh, Championship. And the absolute mess about this is it's like the entire match, like 90% of this match is literally like dual cast with like adverts. You've got Subway, all this other shit. I mean, I don't really need to go through what the adverts were, but it's like... You've got a title match in the main event here and like literally oh it's been took up by a fucking advert, you know? So I thought that was a bit of a mess in itself. But Miro obviously wins here against this guy for Alabama that Jericho kept on pointing out. Didn't actually fuck up about it, but ah well. Um Miro wins after the match, attacks the guy, out comes Sammy Guevara for the for the save. For anyone that gives a shit. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, ho, 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 yeah, ho, buddy, we give a, we give so much of a shit for Sammy Guevara, that draw, that fucking mega superstar, buddy, yeah, not, not exactly, uh, the rock, is he, but hey, hey, man, he's trying to do good, anyway, guys, talking about do good, this show did not do much yet, I liked the Matt Hardy stuff, I didn't mind the commentary, and I think AEW, like, seeing so do, like, like, the sit-down stuff, like, backstage, and you got, like, I think they do a good job of that, right? But I just think segment-wise, it's all shite. So I'll give it the same rating as SmackDown. I, I, I can't really decide what was better, so I'll give it a 2. And uh, yeah, if you think that's low, go fuck yourself.